GPX glass processors are capable of making a variety of optical fiber components such as fused fiber couplers, power combiners, mode field adapters, photonic lanterns, or lensed fibers. There are several types of lensed fibers available, including ball lenses, graded index end cap lenses, and drawn fiber lenses. Applications for lensed fibers vary from light collection and delivery, to sensing, to medical devices. In this video, we will demonstrate the capability of a GPX glass processor to produce a drawn fiber lens, though the same equipment can be used to make other types of lenses as well. The optical specifications of the lens, such as the working distance and spot size, will be dependent on the specifications of the initial fiber, as well as the radius of curvature of the shaped lens. Once the desired fiber type and radius of curvature are chosen, the GPX glass processor can be used to repeatably produce and measure the shape of the lensed fibers with submicron accuracy. To produce a custom lensed fiber using this draw technique requires four steps. First, the filament is normalized. Then, the fiber is prepared for processing. Then, the GPX executes the lensing routine. And finally, the GPX measures the lens tip and allows the user to tune the parameters. As with other glass processing applications, to assure that a consistent and repeatable amount of heat is delivered to the fiber, it is important that the filament is normalized regularly. When normalizing before a drawn fiber lens routine, the bottom inserts must be locked into the fiber holding blocks, even if they are transfer inserts. This locking ensures the alignment of the fiber across the left and right fiber holding blocks is maintained even when fibers are being repeatedly loaded and unloaded. For more detail on normalization, see the dedicated video in the notes. If the normalization does not converge, simply unlock the bottom inserts, prepare two new fibers, lock them in the fiber holding blocks, and normalize again. When the normalization converges, open the lids of the fiber holding blocks and the transfer inserts to remove the fibers. The next step is to prepare the fiber which will be shaped into the lens. Choose a fiber type which is appropriate for your application and mark a length to window strip. Strip the appropriate window of coating and use a wipe soaked in a solvent to thoroughly clean the fiber. Now that the fiber has been prepared, the software can be used to process the fiber and form the lens. Use the FFS3 GUI to open the lensed fiber file and the tension monitor. Then press the blue button to begin the routine. The routine begins by moving motors to the predetermined positions, adjusting internal settings, and then taking a baseline reading of the tension. When prompted, load the fiber across both the left and right inserts and close the lids from left to right. For this demonstration, the lensed fiber formation is shown in hot image so the camera tower returns to center view. Then, a known tension is applied to the fiber. Before the routine continues, you will need to slide the neutral density filter into place and the screen will go dark. When the prompt is dismissed, the splice head moves to the splice position and the filament moves up. Then, power is driven to the filament which will glow and illuminate the image as the right fiber holding block draws the fiber until it breaks. The filament remains on for the duration specified in the splice file. The applied heat and surface tension of the softened glass round the fiber into the shape of the lens. The filament and splice head then return home and the user can slide the neutral density filter out of the imaging path to view the lens. The final step is to measure the radius of curvature of the lens and make any necessary adjustments to the parameters.
The parabolic measurement process analyzes the image to fit a curve to the tip of the lensed fiber. Then it determines the radius of curvature. The radius of curvature can be tuned by adjusting the filament on duration. For a larger radius, increase the on duration. For a smaller radius, decrease it. Repeat the preparation, processing, and measurement steps to produce as many lensed fibers as needed. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at techsupport at thorlabs.com or vitran.uk at thorlabs.com.